Hello everybody, this is Deidre with Paper Crafts and Planners, and I have the Club EP Echo Park subscription box for July 2021. I'm going to show you what comes in it, and then we're going to make a few projects. This is a really pretty summer theme, and it there was a summer theme last month with the card kit also. So it's two summer themes in a row, but I've looked ahead, and it's fall next month for the card, so I'm excited. So this is 65 pound card stock printed paper and it's really pretty 24 double-sided papers and this is called pool party it's got some journaling sheets hello summer life is so sweet you can find me under the palm trees summer fun soaking up the summer fun and sun just some really cute sentiments to use in these cut aparts there's a solid blue I always love that when there's solids so you can see that there's a little hole in the top of these like in case they would hang them up at a store or something. So I'm going to show you how I get around that to make some cards and use the most out of this paper that I can. There's some more journaling cards that are really cute. So these collections always come, the big collection, this one's $29.99. It's every other month, and the opposite months are the card making months. And those are, I think, $19.99. There's a pretty floral washi. There is an idea sheet that it comes with. And then there are some SVG downloads, too, that you can go on their site and download. And it kind of walks you through a couple of projects. There is Puffy Sticker Sheet. And I'm going to be honest, I, I rarely use the Puffy Stickers because they shrink everything down so small that if there are words on it, you really cannot read them. But like the pool and that big summer at the top, those are usable. But some of the other elements, I'm not so sure I, I will get around to doing anything with. This is the ephemera pack, and it's called Frames and Tags. You can see all the same elements repeat throughout. And these, these frames, you can punch the insides out of them and use them separately. So you can use the inside piece and the outside frame. I love that surfboard, too. So cute. But all these same cute sayings and pineapples and watermelons and lemons and surfboards and flamingos, they're all going to repeat throughout this whole thing. It's going to say summer a lot, <laughs> so if you're doing um, scrapbooking, some summer adventures, pool parties, beaches, um, maybe a cruise vacation, if you're doing that kind of thing. I love these little pieces, too, to go inside cards, if you're going to make cards with this. Now, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to make some cards, but I'm going to also make um, a 12 by 12 layout, and I'll show you what I'm I'm going to go about that. I'm way behind. My mother, I was visiting her this month. That's why I'm way behind this month, but not why I'm way behind with scrapbooking. Here's the chipboard pieces, and they're the same as that puffy sticker sheet. And then there's a sticker sheet that's the same as them also, but with a few more elements. So I'm real, my mother gave me some 12 by 12 uh, scrapbooks that she started with my grandchildren and she wants me to finish them and I'm already behind with what I was doing with my grandchildren's photos so I need to get caught up. I love the strips at the bottoms of these sheets and you've got the um, 12 by 12 version and you can see these are the same prints basically the same cards that cut apart but just in a larger size which means you're going to get a lot out of these kits. If you want to make cards, if you want to scrapbook, if you want to do a little mini album, whatever you want to do You've got every size you could think of to accomplish that. And again, I love these watermelons. I don't know why, but they're just so pretty. One of my favorite elements. The swimsuits and the tropical leaves. I love that they come with the colors like this, and then there's going to be a black and white one, or kind of a tone on tone more. And there's the journaling cards that are just larger. That was in the 6x6. Six and I love that you can you know, stamp on that one or use them as they are. It's a pretty print. And each of these sheets has a name. So it'll say the pool party collection and then each of the sheets is named. So you could always go and buy a single sheet. And I will link to how you can do that if there's anything that you really like in this collection. I usually buy them on scrapbook.com unless, I don't buy on Echo Park unless it's a warehouse sale or a warehouse mystery box. And right now they are doing the warehouse mystery box, which those are fun, but it's been just a couple of months since I did one and I have no business buying, <laughs> buying more of those. 
mystery boxes. But that's where you get the great sales on Echo Park or the subscription boxes. I love this. I love summer with that heart. So pretty. And again, you could stamp a sentiment in that one. There's a striped sheet and another floral. Really pretty. You can do so much with this collection. So I'm going to cut off the strips. I'm going to cut apart those the sheets that have all the little cut aparts and I'm gonna put those in a pack and a stack and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. And I've got this from close to my heart. It is Make It From The Heart and I have volumes four and five in this book. Five is scrapbooking layouts and card making. So I'm gonna go through and pick out one that I wanna use for using with this these elements and some pictures I have of my grandchildren. So I've picked out one that I really like and you can see where it tells you where to place all the elements on the sheet, the measurements of how to do that, what size each element should be, how to cut your papers so that you get all the different pieces that you need for this layout. And I really like how it shows you two different sort of themes but the same design. So I thought this would go, I'm going to change it up a little bit because I want to use some of the elements with this collection of course. And so I'm going to change the um, titling and a few things but mostly I'm sticking to it. So this is a three by 12 sheet. That sticker on there that's scalloped is part of the sticker sheet. And I've inked around the edges of these circles just because it was too much white on white, I thought. So just put a dark blue around the edge. And this I cut out of one of the pieces. They're half inch by 12. So I'm going to do the titling on the side just like it showed in the example. So I'm using this grid sheet from, from close to my heart. So whatever you have, you can use a ruler, you don't have to use a grid sheet, but I really enjoy doing it. If I had some repositionable tape, I would have put it on the back of this white 12 by 12 piece to hold it in place better because I'm constantly adjusting it as I'm doing this. But anyway, I get it done. So I love that I can put it on this sheet though and see the the, down the side the measurements, up at the top the measurements, so I know exactly where I'm putting things and get them as straight as I possibly can. And I'm not really a stickler, you know, if something's not absolutely perfect, it doesn't bother me that much. But I give it my best shot. <laughs> so there's my uh, 3x12 sheet that's going to have my title on it down the side. And I'm just making sure I've lined it up with the edge of the paper and get it on my grid sheet and add a little more. This is my favorite adhesive. It's that Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And it's my favorite because it dries matte instead of shiny. I know I've said that about a million times, but it makes such a difference if you get excess of glue on something. You haven't ruined your project by this big shiny spot. And I'm gonna try to line that up with the top and the bottom. And you know, you could have used the floral side and done a totally different look to this instead of the stripe. With these papers, you could really have scrapbooked any event because of the florals and the stripes and all that stuff. So this is that orangey with kind of a doodle pattern on it, which I really loved. And it's three by nine, and that's where your photos are going to go. So I'm going to put that down first. And it said on the instructions to put it three and a half inches down from the top. And so that's what I'm going to do. And get that lined up there. And then I'm gonna put my circles down. And I just need three on this side. And I pulled some chipboard pieces. Normally I don't do a whole lot of dimension on 12 by 12 layouts because they go in the page protectors, but I really liked these little chipboard um, features this month, the fruit and the ice cream cones and all of that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put an ice cream cone and a popsicle in that one circle. So cute. And then for my title, instead of cutting something with a Cricut, which is what I suspect they did in that one example, I took one of the four by six cards and I trimmed it down so it would fit in this area. And it just says summer vibes on it. Really cute. And I'm just going to line it up with that middle piece where my photos are going to go. And then I have a chipboard pineapple and a watermelon and a lemon. Those all say summer to me, right? Eating all the fresh fruit. 
thankfully my daughter's been sending me some photos so maybe I'll get some scrapped of the younger grandkids because the older two I actually do have quite a bit done from when they were younger but the youngest two that are three and four they just moved back to the area so I haven't done as much scrapbooking with them as I should have so these are little three by half an inch pieces and they're just the strips that are were at the bottom of the um, 12 by 12 sheets and I cut them up and pick some different designs different patterns to use down here and there were so many to choose from and then I have this little piece that says summer fun and has a watermelon on it which I thought was cute and then this little I don't know what you'd call that shape but it says shine and it's yellow and I thought I wanted to bring some of that yellow in also and this is these are so these are three by four pieces so you could cut those and so you'd know exactly where to lay out your photos but I don't think I'm gonna do that because I'm thinking I might want to use a four by six and this is four and a half by nine I absolutely could fit a four by six in there okay so this is the left hand side that's gonna match up so again I want to place it on my grid so I can get everything lined up and this is a four and a half by 12 so it goes all the way across since you're not going to do the titling on this page that you did on the other and we're going to put it down at three and a half inches like we did the other one and get that lined up I probably should have sped this up like double time so you didn't have to watch me um, take so much time moving everything around <laughs> and I have one more circle on this side so I picked up that paper that said summer and had all the different elements and I just made sure I got that summer in the middle and here are my stripe pieces again half an inch by 12 I'll do one at the top and one at the bottom and I really I love the color of that stripe I don't know it's like a baby blue I guess it's just a light blue that looks so beautiful with the orange and everything else and again I'm not going to measure where these circles go I'm just going to place them down and I did start off with the stripe on the one end and move across just like I did on the other page so I sort of have a pattern there except for that little circle that says summer added in there and again I'm going to put some sweet treats in that one circle and I ran out of chipboard ice cream feature so I'm going to take one from the sticker sheet so that popsicle came from the sticker sheet and then the ice cream cone is a chipboard piece and then I've got the pieces again that I could lay out to show where my photos go and I'm going to put that one there because this is where they show a journaling spot but I'm going to put this card that says lazy hazy crazy days of summer and I'm going to stick that it's just kind of letting me know where this journaling card should go that's why I'm putting that right down there and then I thought I could do journaling at the bottom part on either side really I've got space to do journaling or at least put a date and the kids names that kind of thing I'm not really good at coming up with a lot of different journaling stuff to do but I do like to write something down there so I remember you know just for the memory of it and how old everybody was at least in the photo and here's again my little half an inch by three inch strips and I add one more design to this side because I have four of them and I just love I mean I just think this is so colorful and gonna be so cute for the kids playing in the water or writing with the sidewalk chalk all the things they've loved to do this summer the littles and this one says hello sunshine and again with the watermelons I love that and it would have taken me a long time to come up with <laughs> a pattern to do myself and having this as a jumping off point was just so much fun and really got you know got everything started okay so now I'm gonna make some mini slim lines and they are six you cut the paper six and a half by six and a quarter you score it at three and a quarter so you have six and a quarter by three and a quarter on your front and that's perfect for these six by six sheets which are actually a little over six by six they have a little glue at the top that I cut off and then they have that little strip with the hole in it and then you can still get two three by six pieces out of it so I'm just gonna place the first one down and then I'm gonna pick a strip that I think looks good and it has a hole in it 
but we don't care about that because we're going to cover that up. And this is just an easy, quick way to make some cards. Now I have these little cut aparts and they don't all go with cards, I don't think anyway. So this one I'm going to use as kind of like a background behind the little one that says Hello Summer and has the floral element. And then I'm going to put them both down there on top of where that hole is. So it's covering that hole up. A really quick way to do a bunch of cards. I've put together eight of them so you can kind of see what I've done with each one and use the different size um, cards that I've cut apart. And it just mixed and matched until I thought they looked good. But these are cute to just send a quick note to a friend. Brighten somebody's day with these cards. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Happy crafting!